So we will s- Today, Saints, Kenzie Retro here, back once again, another episode of Tom and Jerry Sins, episode 34, Old Rockin' Chair Tom. So, yeah, no sing glasses uh, for the foreseeable future, but they will be back, don't you worry. Anyway, usual rules apply as always, let's not waste any time, and let's get on with it. Enough with the false hope! Give us the fame already! Wouldn't she have fallen off before now? How is Jerry that strong to be able to lift that stool? Also, with the way he's shaking the stool about... Mama Two Shoes should be... falling off the stool? Oh, now you notice she's in trouble? And thus demonstrating the value of watching where you're going. Mm, unrealistic sound design. That's burns which require a trip to the vet. Oh, goodness me, this is not going to end well. Don't just stand there, do something! Three swipes, three misses. All you had to do was aim lower and there you go. But then you would have but then they would have run the opportunity of jumping up. But I mean, come on, Tom! First off. All that stuff wouldn't come flying up the stairs. Which results in number two, the infamous unrealistic physics. And number three, Geronimo! Thomas, if you're a mouse catcher, I'm Lana Turner. I'm who? I'm Lana Turner. Who the heck is Lana Turner? <laughs> Obviously, I will, obviously, well, turns out an actress from back in the day. People like me obviously wouldn't get the reference. Bitch, I'm not. I'll take a cent off for honesty. The trouble with you is you're getting too old to catch mice. Gee, you think? Oh, let me... Supersonic! Oh, wait, hang on. We're still in the 40s. Sonic wasn't made until 91. I'm gonna have fun with unrealistic physics, yeah? Because he should not be that quick! That was easy. Wow. What a gentleman. He's a gentleman. How did he know Jerry was getting back in? Does he have like spider sense or anything like that? Ah, because the plot demands it, he gets in relatively easy, but he can't get back out until he gets booted out. How is his hearing that strong? Yeah, he wouldn't be spinning around that much. That's right, Lightning. Take good care of poor old Tom. Wow, let's double the same count for that. Come on. Oh, I'll see you at the end of the episode. And a sin I love that cat. 
Which one? Tom or Lightning? Oh boy, here we go! You could have easily kept that in your mouth. Could have kept it in your mouth. Um, holding it like so. And there you go. You have at least one hand free. I know this was a bad demonstration, but it was the only thing I could find. Thomas, is that you in the icebox? <gasps> yes, it does happen to be Tom in the icebox. No, it's lightning! <laughs> Wouldn't that other bottle have smashed as well? <laughs> Pitting the blame on someone else to escape, to escape, uh, punishment cliche. Thomas, have you been in that icebox? How can she not see Lightning's nodding his head for him? Then out you go. Allow me, dear madam. Yeah, that's definitely not working. Tom is not a set of blinds. How does he do that? How is that possible? Indistinguishable whispering to signal the start of a plan, cliche. <laughs> Gee whiz, that brutal Jerry, are you trying to behead him or something? <laughs> yes, he's asleep, but come on, shouldn't you be able to, I don't know, hear the door opening? <laughs> How can he not feel this? That's definitely a trip to the vet. Since when was the magnet that strong? Bye! Welcome, punch! The punch is not a kaboom. That should be a click, not a kaboom! That is not possible. That would ruin the anatomy of the, uh, the body. My beautiful piano! I'm not even gonna count how many plates that was, but I'm gonna guess about 20, so let's just add 20 sins and move on. What in the world is going on in here? How in the world did you fix your dress? How can she not feel that? She would have come down long before that point. That is that is not enough place to fit on that shelf. So let's double the same count. Also, here I come to save the day. How? That would have caused it to fall off. Number one, where's his tail? And number two, three attempts to get away, knowing full well that the magnet is just not going anywhere. Okay, I'll take a sin off for that, because that is actually quite hilarious. Three. Thy splits, thy splits, thy splits! That's another three. What? Seven. Thirteen. Make that another four. It's my turn now! Here I come to save the day! But I discount William Tell Overture. Oh, for Pete's sake, come on! Allow me, dear madam. Oh, for goodness sake, you should have known that the iron was still in there! And a small token of gratitude. Okay.
how often do I do this? But I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cut the uh, sin count in half for Tom's generosity. Well, as well that two episodes in a row without any bloopers. I'm getting good at this. Anyway. That's it for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, as always, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the latter day scenes notification squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Previous episode on the left, playlist on the right. Tomorrow, it's Formula One Day. And until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. Stay faithful as always.